Welcome to my first ever screencast. Adding a built-in function to the SpiderMonkey JavaScript shell and the attack of the horrible audio quality. So the first thing we're going to do is on this Ubuntu Natty Narwhal system, we're going to make a moz directory within my home directory. And then we're going to go and search for Firefox simple build. And that takes us to the Mozilla developer network page that describes the dependencies for building Firefox in the JavaScript shell. So those are here. I've actually already installed them, so I'm not going to run that com those commands. But uh, then, once those dependencies are installed, you hg clone http hg.mozilla.org slash mozilla central, which is the trunk for all Mozilla development. Uh, and I'm not going to perform that right now because it's too slow. So what I'm going to do is move this mozilla central cheat to Mozilla Central. And once we're in Mozilla Central, we go into JavaScript source, run autoconf 2.13. We're actually specifically dependent on that version, unfortunately. Then we're going to make an object directory just for the JS shell. And I'm going to call it debug n because I'm not specifying how many, uh, whether the build is 32 or 64 bit. It's just whatever the platform wants it to be. And then we're going to run the configure script. Uh, and we are going to enable the debug, which adds symbols and uh, debug assertions. Uh, and we're going to disable optimization, again, for ease of debugging. And we're going to make with dash j4 and dash s. And through the magic of ccache, this will actually take an astonishingly short period of time. but it usually takes a lot shorter for the JS shell to build than the whole browser because the JS shell is significantly less code and significantly less uh, complex make file. So now that the JS shell runs, we can see, ooh, works. Uh, so now we're going to edit. Go into JS source and under shell directory, js.cpp contains the source for the whole JavaScript shell. Um, there is a member called shell functions, at which point we will ins insert a new function, which we will call meow. Meow. Uh, this parameter, if we look at jsapi.h, we will see that JS function it takes a name, a call, a number of args, and flags. We don't care about flags because nothing else here cares about flags. So let's find the signature for version. And we will add another function, which looks just like that. JS context is the interpreter or engine context you might think of it as. And VP is actually a pointer to a JS value on stack. Uh, the JavaScript interpreter stack, one might think of it as. So what we're going to do here is very simply do puts yen. And when you're writing one of these JavaScript built-in functions, you have to make sure to set your return value in the case of success. And we're going to set it to undefined, which is also known as void 0 in JavaScript. And we are going to return true. And now that we've made this modification, we will try to build. And we should actually fail, because it will tell us that the size of the array, blah, 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 static assert is negative. Uh, and if we track this down to line 146, it will be, or sorry, 4483, it will be telling us that uh, the length of the help messages has to be equal to the length of the shell functions. So we will look for help. We will insert meow. We will say, give a friendly cat message. And now, let me try to compile this. The link step takes a long time. But we should succeed, and we can write meow. And that is all. Thank you.